Hello children, in this video we are going to discuss chapter 15 triangles. Before starting this chapter children, first of all what is a triangle? So what is a triangle? Any figure, any closed figure formed by three sides. Any closed figure which is formed by three sides is a triangle. Having three sides and three angles also. So the parts of a triangle, three vertices are there where the two lines are meeting AB and AC. They are meeting at point A. So A is the vertex. AB and BC are meeting at B. So B is the vertex. BC and AC are meeting at C. So C is the vertex. So these are the vertices because there are more than one. So it is known as the vertices. There are three sides. Obviously, there are three sides AB, BC and AC. So, three sides are there in a triangle. Last one is there are three angles. Which are the angles? Angle A, angle B and angle C. So, these are the three angles. Vertex I have told you. Next is children, interior angles of a triangle. Now, I will show you this triangle. This is a triangle ABC children. In this triangle, this angle A, angle B and angle C, these are inside the triangle, inside the triangle. So, these are known as the interior angles. What are they known as? Interior angles because they are inside the triangle. Interior angles. Second thing, the sum of the interior angles, angle A plus angle B plus angle C is always equals to 180 degree. Whenever you will add these angles, the sum will be 180 degree. So keep this thing in your mind. It is very important children. Next thing, this outer part, if I will make the angle over here, I am making the angle over here. This angle 1, angle 1, it is known as the exterior angle exterior angle why exterior angle because it is on the exterior of a triangle it is on the outside of a triangle so it is known as a exterior angle here also you can make one exterior angle you can extend this line and this angle angle 2 is the exterior angle you can extend this line also and you can make this angle angle 3 this is also angle 3 this is also the exterior angle so I think the concept of interior angle and exterior angle is clear to you children. Interior means inside, exterior means outside. Now this is angle A, angle B, angle C is equals to 180 for interior angles. Next is exterior angle also there is one property. That property is angle 1 is equals to angle A plus angle B. Angle 1 is equals to angle A plus angle B. Now this property is that angle formed on the exterior part of a triangle is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles. The sum of the exterior angle and the adjacent interior angle is always equal to 180. This is the second property. This property means that when you will add this angle 1 and angle C, when I will add angle 1 and angle C, this is also equal to 180. Angle 1 and angle C is equals to 180. You can also write over here C, write B and write over here A. So angle 1 plus angle C is equals to 180. Sum of the exterior angle and the adjacent interior angle is always equals to 180. Next is children. Altitude and the median of a triangle. Now what is a median of a triangle children? First of all it is very clear from the name. Median means mid. Median means mid. Now, if I will draw a line from A to BC, I will draw a line from A to BC, this point will be the midpoint. Median means whenever you will draw a line, it will cut the next line in the mid. So, L is the midpoint of B and C. I will write over here, L is the midpoint of BC. And altitude means perpendicular. Altitude means it is the perpendicular making a 90 degree angle. Next children, types of triangle on the basis of their sides. On the basis of their sides, there are three types of triangle. First one is scalene triangle. Scalene triangle 
when all the sides are of different size when all the sides of a triangle are of different uh, dimensions you can say or are unequal a triangle having all the three sides unequal is called scalene triangle like this this side is 4 this is 5 and this is 3 so this is the scalene triangle next is isosceles triangle isosceles triangle means it is having one pair of sides equal means if this thing is 4 cm this side is 4 cm this will also be 4 cm so if any two sides are equal it is the isosceles triangle last one equilateral triangle equilateral triangle means if a triangle is having all the three sides equal equi means equal so if all the three sides are equal then the triangle is known as a equilateral triangle next children types of triangle on the basis of their angles so on the basis of their angles again there are three types of triangle first one is acute angled triangle acute means less than 90 acute means less than 90 so a triangle in which all the three angles are acute means less than 90 it is called acute angle triangle like 50 70 and 60 so these are the acute angle triangle right angle triangle a triangle in which one of the three angles is right angle right angle means equal to 90 if any one angle is equals to 90 then it is known as the right angle triangle next children third one obtused angled triangle obtuse means if any one angle is greater than 90 a triangle in which one of the three angles is obtuse obtuse means children greater than 90 see here greater than 90 110 so it is the obtuse angled triangle last it is perimeter of a triangle perimeter of a triangle means that if the sum of all the three sides of a triangle Uh, we have to take the sum of the all the three sides of a triangle so it is the perimeter suppose if i will take an example over here this is a triangle it's one side is given to you 3 another is 4 and last one is 5 we have to calculate its perimeter so how to calculate the perimeter i will add all the three sides 3 plus 4 plus 5 so it is equals to how much it is equals to 12 cm so this is the perimeter of a triangle we have to add all the three sides so thank you children in the next video we will discuss the exercise